all right what's good y'all welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm gonna show y'all how to do this trippy effect on highlight motion so first what you're gonna have to do is have your base clip and a mask the mask version of your clip right there now what you're gonna do is select your clip the background now add a new effect and add tiles right there now click on mirror there and now you'll have to duplicate it and go on the duplicate go on effect add a new effect now add a displacement map now what you're gonna do is go uh, at the beginning of your clip add a keyframe and go at the end add another keyframe now at the beginning what you're gonna have to do is play with the y-axis so it can make something really messy like this I suggest you to play around with the from center and invert settings like this to achieve something that you like. I personally like that, but I think the animation is too fast. Maybe because I picked a number that is way overkill. So what I'm gonna do is just decrease it. That was the perfect speed for me. So now what you're gonna have to, to do is add a graph for it to be smooth. Just like this. You are supposed to have that. Now what you're gonna do is select your two backgrounds and make a group. Now that you have that as an effect, what you're gonna do is pick up your background, add a new effect and add a tiles effect. Don't forget to click on the mirror option. Now add another new effect and click on fractal warp. Now what you're gonna do is go on magnitude, add a keyframe at the beginning of your clip and another one at the end. Now the end keyframe will be at the value of zero and the first one will be at whatever value you like the distortion of. I'll keep it at 275 and do the same for position two keyframes one at the beginning and one at the end the second keyframe will stay at zero and the first one will be a negative number 369 minus 369 and it should be like this now just don't forget to to add a graph for the position and the magnitude just like this now what you're gonna do is add a new effect go ahead and pick pinch and bulge now at the center just make sure it's centered around the subject and make the ra radius stronger like this uh, now select strength add two keyframes one at the beginning one at the end and the end keyframe will be at the value of zero and the first will be at whatever value you like i'll keep it at minus one and just remember to add a graph just like this you could add some colors you could go over to color and light and play around with the u shift one key from at the beginning one at the end as usual the end key from the remain at zero and the first key from will just be you enjoying yourself like so and don't forget the graph So to make it more flashy, you could also put a saturation effect. Go on color and light and go on saturation and vibrance. And keep from at the beginning, keep from at, at the end. Upper the saturation and the vibrance. Do the same for the keyframes here. 
and you're supposed to have that as an effect so if you find the tutorial helpful don't forget to leave a like subscribe to my youtube channel check out my instagram and if you're interested in my vfx pack for i like motion users don't hesitate to buy it if you can buy it just share it or just support my content by liking this video and subscribing to my channel see you in another video peace